College Savings Plans Welcome to the Financial Freedom Channel, where we're all about making your money work for you. Are you ready to take control of your finances and achieve true financial freedom? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Financial Freedom Channel, where we'll help you make smart decisions and take charge of your financial future. It's time to take charge of your money and live the life you want. Join us on the Financial Freedom Channel. Kindly click on subscribe and notification button. College savings plans, also known as 529 plans, are tax-advantaged investment accounts specifically designed to help families save for the future higher education expenses of their children. These plans are widely used in the United States. Here are key details about college savings plans. Tax advantages. One of the primary benefits of 529 plans is the tax advantages they offer. Earnings in these accounts grow tax-free, and qualified withdrawals for education expenses are not subject to federal income tax. State-sponsored plans. 529 plans are sponsored by individual states, and each state may offer one or more plan options. It's common for individuals to participate in their own state's plan, but you are not restricted to your state's plan, and you can choose any state's plan that suits your needs. Two types of plans. There are two main types of 529 plans prepaid tuition plans and education savings plans. Prepaid tuition plans, these allow you to purchase future tuition credits at today's prices. They are a way to lock in the cost of tuition at eligible in-state public colleges and universities. Education savings plans, these are more flexible and allow you to invest contributions in a variety of mutual funds or similar investment options. The growth of your investments in an education savings plan is not tied to the actual cost of tuition. Qualified expenses, Funds from 529 plans can be used for a wide range of qualified education expenses, including tuition, fees, room and board, textbooks, and some computer-related expenses. Some K-12 expenses may also qualify. Ownership and control. The person who sets up the 529 plan, the account holder, maintains control over the account, including decisions regarding investments and withdrawals. Beneficiary. The beneficiary is the student for whom the account is intended to benefit. You can change the beneficiary to another eligible family member, which can be helpful in the event the original beneficiary decides not to pursue higher education. Flexibility, education savings plans allow you to use the funds at eligible educational institutions across the country, not just in the state where the plan is established. Contribution limits, 529 plans typically have high contribution limits, often exceeding $300,000 per beneficiary, although these limits vary by state. Gift tax benefits, Contributions to a 529 plan can be considered a gift for tax purposes. However, they are eligible for the annual gift tax exclusion, meaning you can contribute up to a certain amount each year without incurring gift taxes. Financial aid impact. Money held in a 529 plan is typically considered an asset of the account holder, which can impact financial aid eligibility. However, the impact is usually less than if the funds were held in the student's name. Rollovers and transfers. You can change beneficiaries or rollover funds from one 529 plan to another without tax penalties, allowing for greater flexibility. Professional guidance. Consider consulting a financial advisor or tax professional when setting up and managing a 529 plan, especially if you're not familiar with investment options. State tax benefits. In addition to federal tax benefits, many states offer tax incentives for contributing to their own 529 plans. These incentives may include deductions, credits, or other tax benefits. Be sure to research your state's specific plan for any additional advantages. Grandparents and 529 plans. Grandparents can also set up 529 plans for their grandchildren. However, contributions from grandparents may affect the beneficiary's eligibility for financial aid, so it's important to consider the potential impact on the student's aid package. Multiple beneficiaries. One 529 plan can have multiple beneficiaries, such as multiple children in the same family. This allows you to use the same plan for different children's education expenses. Timing of contributions. You can contribute to a 529 plan at any time and in any amount, making it possible to contribute monthly, annually, or as lump sums when you have the means. Qualified institutions. Funds in a 529 plan can generally be used at any eligible post-secondary educational institution, which includes colleges, universities, vocational schools, and even some international institutions. Custodial accounts. Custodial 529 accounts are also an option for minor beneficiaries. These accounts allow a responsible adult to manage the funds until the child reaches the age of majority, usually 18 or 21. 
Penalty for non-qualified expenses. If you use 529 plan funds for non-qualified expenses, you may be subject to taxes and a 10% penalty on the earnings portion of the withdrawal. It's important to be aware of these potential penalties. Changing investment options. Many 529 plans allow you to change your investment options over time, which can be helpful as the beneficiary approaches college age and you want to reduce investment risk. Use for K-12 education. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 expanded 529 plans to allow for withdrawals of up to $10,000 per year per beneficiary for K-12 education expenses at public, private, or religious schools. Estate planning. 529 plans can also be a valuable tool for estate planning. Contributions to 529 plans can be considered completed gifts for estate tax purposes, which can help reduce your taxable estate. Financial aid considerations. The impact of 529 plans on financial aid eligibility can vary, but generally, parental assets are assessed at a lower rate than student assets, which can be an advantage in financial aid calculations. Withdrawal documentation. Keep records of your withdrawals and expenses to provide documentation in case you're audited by the IRS. It's essential to have records of how you use the funds for qualified expenses. 529 plan portability. You can often transfer funds between different 529 plans, which can be beneficial if you're not satisfied with the performance or options in your current plan. 529 plans can be a valuable tool for saving for college or other qualified education expenses. They provide tax benefits and flexibility, making them a popular choice for parents and families looking to invest in their children's educational future. However, it's essential to carefully consider the specific plan and investment options that best align with your financial goals and circumstances. Thanks for watching, and remember to take charge of your financial future. See you next time. We hope you learned something valuable today. See you on the next video. That's all for today, but there's always more to learn about financial freedom. Stay tuned. Until next time, remember that your financial freedom is in your hands. Take control and make it happen. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and share with friends who need financial freedom.